Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to thank uh, Frank, and I want to thank Kevin for their warm welcome to Oklahoma. If you're wondering what my interest was in Oklahoma, any place that produced Mickey Mantle's got to be a great place. To <laughs> so I want to thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and thank our witnesses uh, for joining with us this morning. Uh, President Biden and congressional Democrats, our economic agenda has focused on building the economy from the bottom up and the middle out. And the legislation delivered by the Ways and Means Committee and Democrats has already delivered for Oklahoma, and most importantly, for its workers. The state GDP outpaced national growth in the third quarter of 2022, and unemployment hovers at historic low rates. I see the motto of work conquers all, and I know you don't take it lightly in Oklahoma. But a desire to work isn't all that's needed, even in a strong economy. Workers must be able to work fairly and be compensated fairly. Further, supercharging our economy will only come when we take action on affordable child care and universal paid leave realities, which will eventually happen. This is why federal direct investments in workers and their families have been so crucial to these communities. Democrats expanded the child tax credit, which brought nearly 60,000 Oklahoma children out of poverty, cutting the poverty rate in half. No policy has done more to reduce child poverty than this one. The American Rescue Plan permanently increased desperately needed federal care in terms of child investments across Oklahoma and other 49 states. The critical step was first in expanding that child credit and enabling workers to reenter the workforce. I will say again that we will continue to defend Social Security and Medicare and not to have any cuts based upon some of the proposals that we've heard about. We also put money back in the pockets of working Americans with the Inflation Reduction Act. We help lower health care costs by allowing Medicare to negotiate high-cost drugs, capping out-of-pocket costs for 21,000 Oklahoma seniors and reducing health insurance premiums for millions of Americans. All of these life-saving policies will provide more certainty for American families. We've already seen this law drive industry action. Just this week, a major insulin manufacturer announced a universal cap on insulin costs. And our work in spurring growth for small businesses and workers and families across the state of Oklahoma in places just like Yukon will continue, you can be assured. This is one of the top states for clean energy development, thanks to Oklahoma's ample wind, solar, and hydro energy potential, existing infrastructure, and talented labor force. When coupled with the bipartisan infrastructure law and tax credits championed by the Ways and Means Democrats in the Inflation Reduction Act, the clean energy economy in Oklahoma is accelerating. I must tell you all today that I hope that this state, like others, will take full advantage of $369 billion of tax credits for battery power storage, which this state is particularly well positioned to take advantage of. An estimated 2,000 clean energy jobs have also been created in Oklahoma since last August, and that's just the beginning. Companies across the heartland are capitalizing on incentives to drive R&D and turbocharged manufacturing right here at home. From electric vehicles to wind power, economic growth will be felt by rural and industrial communities alike. And as you'll hear today, the contrast is clear. We want to make sure that the wealth of America is evenly distributed across this great country of ours. We know that the state of our economy is strongest when government puts the interests of the middle class over the well-connected and the wealthy. We're going to continue to build on that work to expand affordable child care, paid leave, protect Social Security and Medicare, and for those who are openly advocating, tearing up those benefits from the people of Oklahoma. We, too, understand the importance of promoting economic opportunity for family farmers and other business in the agricultural sector. One of the great things that happened in this country was the unity that was caused by great farmers in the farmland of this country and what it did for urban people who needed food. You helped contribute to making that a reality. So thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank our witnesses for being here today. Look forward to them sharing their experiences with us. Thank you, Rand.